Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the NW Sportscast. I'm Levi. It's been a long time since we have recorded, but we are back and we have to talk about the Seattle Mariners because there is a lot going down right now. The Mariners just finished up the trade deadline. They didn't make a ton of moves. You know, we thought they'd make more moves, but one guy that I am really excited for to see pitch in a Mariners uniform is Luis Castillo. Now, I'm going to be honest. I was not a fan of this trade when it came out, and I'm still not really sure how much I'm a fan of this trade. But you look at a guy like Luis Castillo and what he can bring to this franchise, you have to get a little bit excited for him because this guy has potential ace stuff. He's 29 years old, so he's in the prime years of his career. He reminds me a lot of a guy like Felix Hernandez. He throws really, really hard, and he's got a lot of really good stuff. I think with him at the top of our rotation, I think that's going to improve our rotation as a whole. You got Logan Gilbert, Robbie Ray. They're both having good seasons. George Kirby looks like a very solid rookie. And then Chris Flexen and Marco Gonzalez, they're usually pretty hit or miss, but they're both decent as well. So I think the Mariners rotation right now, we just went from being top 10 to a potentially top five rotation. And I know we don't necessarily have, you know, the big name guys. We don't have the Verlanders. We don't have the Garrett Coles. But right now, Logan Gilbert's been better than Garrett Cole. Logan Gilbert's been better than the Corey Klubers and the Jameson Tylums. Some of these guys who people talked about as aces, well, Logan Gilbert's better than half the aces in the league. So if you want to talk about having an ace, I think the Mariners have two right now with Castillo and Gilbert. And Robbie Ray, you know, when he's on, he's on. And I know he's also considered an ace. So really, we've got three really, really strong pitchers. So, you know, right now, looking at the Mariners, we're about eight games, I believe, over 500. We go on to take on the Angels. It's a four-game series that starts today in Seattle. It's going to be a lot of fans there, and we have to capitalize. The Angels right, right now, they are looking in hellfire. They have Mike Trout. He's injured. Shohei Otani, he's not going to be pitching for them in this series. He will be hitting. He'll probably hit a couple home runs against us because it seems like that's what he always does. But Anthony Rendon, he's injured. They just traded away Brandon Marsh. They traded away their closer, Rysel Iglesias, and they traded Noah Syndergaard. So this team is literally on the dumps. They are trading people away. They're, they've pretty much given up in the season. Ever since, they, ever since we beat them uh, after the brawl incident, pretty much the Angels have not been good at all. So right now we need to capitalize on that. We've got some home games. Bring the energy, everybody. Um, and the good news is Ty Franks is going to be back in the lineup tonight. So obviously we're dealing with some injuries here. Julio Rodriguez, Dylan Moore, they're both on the injured list. That's a huge blow to the team. But Sam Haggerty, he's stepping up when needed. Jared Kelnick, he returned and hit a home run in our game on Wednesday in the first inning off of Garrett Cole. That's huge for him and huge for his confidence. Right now he's hitting 126. We'd love to see that batting average. It'll potentially go up, and hopefully by the time Julio Rodriguez is back, maybe Jared will be hitting somewhere in the 140 range. I think that would be really nice. Um, Mitch Hanniger is going to be coming back soon as well. So we've got a lot of guys who are about to return, and this is going to be really good for the Mariners. And I think right now, you know, we're in the second wild card. I think there's a chance we can climb into the first wild card. You know, the division probably out of reach. The Astros are just that much better than us right now, but I think we can make that number one wild card, and you know, there's a very high likelihood that we're going to be playing the Blue Jays in the first round of the playoffs, because right now they're the one, we're the two, um, so if we if we get the one, we, we get to play them here, if we get the two, we'd have to play them there, so either way, it'll be a three-game series against the Blue Jays, most likely, I think there's a pretty good chance we can win that series, especially if it is at home, because you know, the last time we played the Blue Jays, we beat them four in a row, so Right now, the Mariners just have to keep on rolling. we got an easy schedule the rest of the way after we play the Yankees one more time next week. And then after that, the schedule gets pretty light. We do play the Guardians. That's going to be a really big series. The Guardians right now, I believe they're two games behind us for that wild card spot. So if we can really if we can sweep the Guardians or at least take two out of three in that series, that's going to be huge for our playoff chances as well because you know we're going to take that one team that's behind us and we're going to put them behind us for good. So anyways, guys, that's my little quick Mariners update. We're going to be back on the NW Sports Cast uh, pretty frequently now. Uh, I'm really excited to get back to it.